Hello again, what I want to do today is give you a demo of the Pivot Automation within SQL Server Integration Services. Um, this uh, transformation is probably one of the more ugly transformations to, um, to actually set up within SQL Server Integration Services and the, odd, uh, and the reason for that is because it has a whole lot of manual settings that you need to uh, configure. So actually what I'd recommend is whenever possible try and avoid this uh, this transformation at least until uh, perhaps the next release of uh, uh, integration services where perhaps Microsoft might make it a little bit more user friendly because uh, what you can do is you can do this um, pivot transformation in, in the source system so for example if you are pulling information in from an access database you can actually have a cross -tab, tab query in there that will actually perform this in the source system so then you could pull in the uh, the data already in a pivot format so um, just actually demonstrate what I'm talking about in terms of uh, pivot uh, pivoting data. So this is a com uh, sort of a common format which uh, we get data in. There'll be a single customer, but they'll have multiple products. Their their name will occur multiple times. So Kate bought soda and milk. Her name appears a couple times there, in the, uh, three times, sorry, and then Fred has the same sort of situation. And in a uh, pivoted format you'd have the uh, customer having one uh, one row, uh, one would there be one row per team, and then there'd be uh, one column per um, per product type. So essentially what we want to do is turn data from this format into this format. And one thing to note with, um, with SQL Server integration services is that unlike cross-tab queries in access and uh, pivot tables in Excel, the pivot transformation doesn't actually aggregate data, so it won't do sums and it won't do averages. What you have to do is you add a, um, an additional uh, data flow transformation further up uh, above it in the, uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the package to actually do that aggregate first, then run the pivot on it. Um, so what I'll do is um, just to, I'll actually use uh, data which is very similar to the, um, the example that Microsoft has on its SDN site for the pivot transformation. So it's uh, custom names uh, and pro uh, some products and quantities, although I've dropped out a couple of those products just to make the demonstration a little bit shorter. So what I'll use is this raw data here sitting within Excel. So I'll just close that, uh, I'll close that down and leave that one open. So one thing to actually note um, with this, um, this uh, PIP transformation is a couple, I suppose, definitions and names. So one of the important concepts is the concept of pivot usage within a pivot table. So row, uh, row data is given a pivot usage of one, column data is given a pivot usage of two, and actual data is given a pivot usage of three. So um, that'll you'll uh, understand what I'm, what those sets mean as I actually build uh, start to build this um, this uh, pivot transformation. Um, so what I'll do is I'll then uh, I need to create a new package and I'll call this new package um, pivot rename that that's great 